All right. Man, it is it is so nice having hotkeys that work. Welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I'm Alex. This is EU4 playing the uh, Voltaire's Nightmare. I forgot Voltaire's name. Mod as Leon, which is probably playing easy mode, but I didn't know that going in. Yeah, this is going pretty pretty easily, pretty smoothly. If this ends up being too easy, I can always end this campaign, start another one. But I wanted to t jump in, start taking a look. Ball and Stalingrad. I, I'm curious if uh, if the Normans... Well, the Norwegians aren't even on the map. So the Norwegians probably aren't going to get the invasion of England unless it's through, like, uh, an event. The Normans, uh, they're Van Vlanderen right now, so they're not even uh, the Normandies anymore. No, wait, maybe? It's a regency. Okay, it's a regency for Robert... Robert de Normandy, so I I don't know. Jesus Christ, game is just throwing money at me. This is a good problem to have. This is a very good problem to have. Battle of the Bastards in CK2. It's it's almost always William that ends up winning. The Norwegians. God, they try, but. They start out in a position where, at least in CK2, they, uh, they're the first on the field, so they get, they start suffering losses and have to face the full brunt of the English army, whereas when the Normans show up later, the Normans get to fight an already embattled and weakened foe. Yeah, so this is going interestingly. Poor, poor Barcelona's taken a huge brunt of this war. And I feel bad, but I don't. <laughs> I would feel bad about it, but, well, I don't. So, there you go. Are you at war with... No, 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 no. You I'm at war with. Where are you going? Ah, here, okay. I wouldn't worry about anybody coming here. It's already covered in a fort. After this war, I'm gonna have to look at where our forts are. Wow, Zaragoza just crumbling. It was sort of expected. Honestly, the most surprising thing about this war has been Barcelona just getting its teeth kicked in. I would not have guessed that to uh, be something we'd see. Ooh, you reinforce. Can we reinforce pretty please? Yeah. Good, good. It's not very good. No. You don't have defensive bonuses. Our morale is better. But barely. Ah, you know, we one, but the, the losses were pretty close there. Go over to Girona, start sieging that down if you can. My Girona. No, never mind. Go dogpile in on that. I, I thought they'd retreat further up. We one here, one here. Yeah, we can. Oh, we can get one of these. This Borple. Oh, Borple exists. Borple is real big. Look at that Borple. It, you know, it half of it's off the map. I'm gonna be. I'm really curious what kind of events they get to model the Ottomans showing up or stuff from the east. The Mongols showing up. I'm curious about. There's there's a lot. I'm not sure about how this mod handles. Going in blind is kind of fun because of that. You. So that's tempting, right? We're about to eat a lot. State maintenance, I don't have too many more states. Years of separatism reduction is nice. Monthly war exhaustion reduction is nice. That's nice. Siege ability is good. 
Uh, definitely, definitely rapid inspiration. This is above and beyond the best thing I could possibly get here. I, I don't know when would be best to start a golden era. Honestly, probably at some point when we have absolutism and that comes into play. But, nah. Eh. So we need to embrace investiture and I need 35 prestige. Well, our prestige is slowly going up. At least it's going up at all. I could just take a few things and make Larida my vassal. I'd be over my vassal limit, but I can start incorporating Portugal any day now, so that wouldn't be wouldn't be the end of the world. Really just gonna go <laughs> yeah keep doing that all right yeah that's nice let's go take that back from the rebels Dargosa has low war enthusiasm imagine that you might be willing to ditch out on this war are you hell yeah because we've occupied some things here by that I mean you've occupied quite a few things everything except for the capital nice I don't want you to be a vassal. I want you to send war reps. I want you to give me a bunch of money that I'm not really going to use, but I want it for prestige reasons, and end your treaty with Zaragoza. Okay, you know what? Forget about the money. I don't really care about that. Break off these treaties, though? That I'm into. War reps, even. Don't, don't worry about it. We get three prestige. That's it. Oh, I get two prestige. Ooh boy! Alright, yeah, I'll take it. Whatever. Get out of this war. How many do I have here total? Many more than 15. Right. Go back to my territory. We just have... Lorita? Granada. Granada to convince to leave the war. Granada's being occupied. The Emerald Isle is... Uh, oh, it's got manpower over here. But look, look at all these fucking... Look at all these little fucks. Look at all of these little fucks. Most of these have unique idea groups, too. There's, there's so much... So much here. Their development probably is still garbage. If I had to guess. Uh, development? Oh, yeah. No, that's trash. I mean, so is ours. So is just everywhere except for northern Italy. Ah, and... Constantinople is pretty developed. <laughs> Look at all that red. Glorious. Alright, alright. Get out of war with Renata. You and your tree with Zargosa. Honestly, that's all I care about. Get out of here. I have a 99% war score. And I'm gonna make it worth it. Massive recruiters? No! <laughs> I liked you. Ah, uh, fuck. I hate these guys. But he would get more military points. Believe. You're in. I'm waiting until this falls. Real clergy political struggle. Do I? How are the clergy doing? Currently 50%. That would move up to 63%. This would. I would lose prestige and money, but you'd lose end points and gain loyalty. Obviously, that one. Toledo has declared war on... who now? Okay, you're expanding southward. So, the expansion of Toledo and Barajos is terrifying to me. We have a lot we can eat up up here, and really I do want to capitalize on that as much as possible. But we do have some pretty big neighbors. 
<laughs> More than 10 development? Yeah, it's not a horrible place for 10 development. The Honestly, the best place to for development is our capital right now. The best in Iberia that I'm seeing is... Toledo here. <laughs> this has farmland. It also has an England center of trade. I'm not seeing a lot of these that produce textiles, which normally means a good place to develop. None of these are farmland. Grassland is the closest I'm seeing. Oh, you know what? Actually, this, this would be quite good. This has textiles and a coastal center of trade. That's a total of minus 15%. Barcelona. Yeah, Barcelona is pretty good. Minus 10, minus 5. And again, minus 10. Oh, so, what is this? Barcelona itself. Okay, yep. Is this... Something else used to at least reduce the bananas. Are these peaches? Hell yeah! What is this? What is what is pink here? Paper? Textile? Carpet? Local court creation cost plus 20%! What? That... Carpet is undesirable. Carpet is... pretty rare, though. Hmm. Expensive decor carpet region. Who knew that? Alright, let's... let's see. So right now, I'm demanding... These three, I'm demanding your vassal. Because that's actually a really good way to hem in Barcelona, but also to potentially expand a little. I'd like to... Who would form a coalition? You and... You. <laughs> yeah, okay. Big scary coalition. I want to do this so the... The Varans can't move in. I want to do this so the Toledans can't move in. God, these are some ugly borders, though. So this would be the cleanest way to do this. What, uh, what do the states look like in here? Oh, okay. Well, I definitely want this. This is all one state. And this is another state. Oh, interesting. Okay. Does Navarra have any claims on Zaragoza? Well, they desire some of it. Doesn't mean that they have claims. They do. Now, honestly, fuck Navarra. I'll settle for this. This will piss off Zaragoza. Toledo! Ah, okay, okay. Toledo, Tortosa, Zaragoza would all potentially join something against me. So you, 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 and... you, and... Toledo, okay, Fortosa, yes. Zaragoza, and... yeah, that's four. Or I can just ease the fuck off and not force them. This would make it so you two don't share a border anymore. Yeah, let's, let's not get it too over our heads early on. How about that? I'm already getting a fair amount of territory out of this. I can demand war reparations. I can demand you give up claims, which I don't care about. I'll take your money, which I don't even want. Yeah, and I'll take your vassal, which is pretty dope. So now we have too many vassals. We have shit to pour. Luckily, that's not too expensive. Alright. So I'm being very particular about how I order you home, because you cannot go in here. And then, go here. Don't enter my allies' territory, and then you'll be... Follow that exact path, and we'll be fine. Please. We'll re that up. How's your unrest? Is horrifying here. I'm just gonna increase autonomy. I do, this is this is all garbage development provinces anyway. One one one, two two one, one one one, one one one. I took a bunch of mountains. I didn't take them because they were going to be profitable. 
Yeah, I'm really hoping that Normandy... Well, you're already at war with Northumberland. What? Oh, no, so you have claims on them. I'm really hoping... Was it November 11th? 1066? Fuck. I should know exactly when in 1066 that happened. And the Norman invasion. Oh, uh, fuck it. It doesn't matter. We'll find out. Alright, so we've eclipse them as a rival, which is great. We're the third rank great power. Ah, I see. So we are the third most powerful nation behind France and Byzantium. I may have picked a really easy nation to play as. It's, it's fine. I have little shame. Hmm, unfortunately... Well, France already rivaled us, right? Yeah, fuck the French. Okay, yep. That's okay. Now, it did, it did look to me as if we are going to be pretty bad at converting provinces. <clears throat> at least initially, which is upsetting. Hey, 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 vassal. Hey, buddy. You? Of course, religion. Fuck. Naval scoobage. Play cape roller. Royal Rooter. <laughs> Royal Looters. Royal Rulers. Now let's just improve relations with our subject here. You know what? Just, just with you. Not even with our subjects. Just with you. If I can get you to stop being rebellious, then that'll be handy, because I can force you to be Christian. Or Catholic, specifically. Innovativeness is decreasing. You are killing me. Because I'm behind my neighbors. I'm behind what neighbors? Well, probably a lot of them. Barcelona is calling us into a war against... War you start? Yeah, you know what? Yep, you got it, buddy. Who am I at war with? Yep, you can definitely guarantee I will not have anything to do with that war. Good luck. <laughs> have fun. I'm gonna stay here in, uh my territory, and you can deal with all that garbage. <laughs> How badly do you need my help? Uh, no, you got this. You can handle this without me, especially with my vassals going in to help you. 66. Normandy is doing nothing. England is not being attacked. Well, you can always script so many historical events, and this is a mod, right? Not a whole game release, so I, I can't be too hard on them if England doesn't become proper England. I mean, I can complain about it, but... And be out of my character to not complain about it. Prior received? Yes, good, more. Uh, can I just... Yeah, sure, fuck it. Let's go right back in there and start knocking some heads. If I contribute, I'll get prestige out of it. Barcelona's just trying to get bigger, which is fine, but it's just the long term creating a problem for me. Sure, short term, it's creating friend, but long term that friend is going to become competitor. I can't really boost this too much more. You know what? Reinforce speed guy, you're in. This is going down. Ooh, no, it's going up now. Never mind. Oh, we're still going up because we have Uncorn Terror Prophet. Yep, yep, yep. You do? I don't like what you seem to be doing there, Andorra. Get out of here. Wait, Andorra? Well, of course Andorra's on here. Hell yeah! Do you have it? Andorra does have unique ideas. Oh, I love that. I fucking love that. Three development. Yeah, that, that seems about right. <laughs> You 
declared war on Zaragoza to restore Pariah. Interesting. So, if they don't pay, we get to cast this belly again. Corn isn't native to England, therefore the Cornish are time travelers. Ah, well, that's some twisted logic, but ah, I've heard less convincing things. I buy it. There we go, retaking that. Please don't attach to me. You will become a vassal, will become a vassal. Okay, so Barcelona now has two vassals? One here, one here? Yeah. Well, good for you, I guess. You don't border Zaragoza, so this ongoing war to restore tribute is fine with me. This doesn't actually affect- No! My troops are stuck over here. Hey, do you have do you have claims on anyone in the neighborhood? Just out of curiosity. No, but like actual claims. You do. And Portugal is already at war with Granada, Fuente, Almeria. You're allied with Lorca and Toledo. Ooh, would Toledo join you in a war? Probably, right? Toledo winning? Yeah, they're winning. Yeah, they help. Fuck. Dislike. Why am I making five a month? Spoils of war. That'll go away pretty quickly. Moth ball these forts. Alright, so I need to integrate Portugal. Like, now ish. This is gonna put us behind, but. You need to get integrated so that I'm not losing one diplo power every month for having too many relations. How long is this going to take? Uh, nine... Just math. Math. Seven years. Okay. It's not horrible. You, my dude, are no longer rebellious. So, uh, get Catholic, yo. And you're going to be mad about it, but I can't incorporate you for a long, long, long time. You drilling? You're drilling. You cannot drill because you're not on my home turf. I can ask for military access for all of these fools, but I don't really wanna. <laughs> I I could ask for military access, but I don't wanna. Let's kick this up because I'm not spending money on anything else right now. Do I have enough sailors? I do. I have so much money and, like, no idea what the fuck to do with it. It's... it's a good problem to have, I guess. Name Leon to Alexandria? Uh, maybe... oh, wait, 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 wait. Get the fuck rid of Alfonso. Get the fuck rid of Alfonso. Alfonso is terrible. Right, I'm glad... I'm glad I remembered to do that. Uh, I really wanted to do that earlier. Hey, hey, you are rebellious, so you don't want to get married. That's fine. Steer me your trade. I would very much like to have a wife. <laughs> or a child. A child who isn't garbage, please. Want to buy not garbage child? Will pay many ducats. Okay, good. You can't have the ledger open without pausing the game. Current rulers? No. Colonies. Looking at current wars. Isn't that a tab in here? Current wars. Here we go. You are conquering someone. In against Penapento? Yep. Barcelona and Zaragoza war for tribute. Northumbrian war for independence against England. 
Hmm. But no. No bastards invading England. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing through New Vegas. I've been having fun playing through uh, Fallout 3, but it's not, it's not quite the same. So, the development is too high. You're Sunni. My missionary strength sucks. Okay, that's not promising. Investiture will boost our missionary strength, but this will even just give us a plus two. That's not very much. I I actually want... Uh, I want a minister and an un inquisitor. Right, if I get a minister... Assign the minister. I think, yeah, that lets me do advancement of religion. Ah! Institution spread minus 5%. Yeah, I have to take it. I, I hate it, but I have to take that. And give me an Inquisitor, please. You're getting mighty influential. I don't love that. And I'll replace them with the Inquisitor as soon as I can. Beyond that, I just have to boost my stability to... Guido is now a great power. No! Get out of here! Please. Please, no. Wait, because our allies occupy this, no, I can't go through it. They sting doctor. It's a pity that, uh, the, uh... Oh my god, the... Mr. Fisto? The, the robot, Fisto. His name is just Fisto. Not a, not a companion. It seems like that would be a very good companion to keep around in your campaign. Turn into a state, core those provinces. Hell yeah. Give me stability so I can convert these evens. It's not zero! It's very high, but it's not zero. So we're gonna start out in... Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. View edicts. Hell yeah, enforce religious unity. Boom. Yes, please. Yes, that's much more manageable. Let's start with that. <laughs> oh god, trying to melee death claws. Not, not a fun time. I, I would hate that. You already don't have enough fucking clergy. God damn it! All right, hey, you want you want more territory? You insatiable little fucks. Three point three, one point six. There you go. You got it. You heard sixty nine percent. Nice. My army is big as it can be. Yes, our navy isn't, but we're not getting any more sailors, so yes, yes it is. Quit hating me. I want to marry you. <laughs> yes, I know you're mad because you have to be Catholic now, but we all have to make sacrifices. It's going to take a long time to conquer all of Spain. Is probably for the best. I did want something interesting. Harsh treatment. Uh, you know what? No. We'll just let it spawn. I don't know how big the rebels will be. 8k? No problem. I can handle that. What does becoming Defender of the Faith give? More missionaries. Actually worth it? actually worth it. Technology costs? Yeah, but yeah, we're already drowning in that. Whatever, fuck it. That is got some heathens to convert. Why is it so expensive? Fleet maintenance, fort maintenance. Fort maintenance is kind of high, but not obscenely high. I be told, I don't really need this. Oh, we'll keep it. We'll keep it for now. Since I'm not drilling, I could lower army maintenance. 
You know what? Uh, Zargosa, can I military access, please? Ah, Aragon would give it. No problem. Yeah, all right. We have a wife. Ah, Isabel is our heir and our queen consort. Why did we name our daughter after our wife? Kind of weird. She's not terrible. She has no zero. She has a total of six, so she's a two-two-two effectively. Yeah, she's not great, but she's not bad either. Now we can't get rid of her, really. Oh, because our stability's not high enough. That's right. Mm. I say we hold on to her for now. I've never had a run where I've been hugely dependent on chems in any Fallout game. It seems like a fun thing to do. It's always been fun to watch people play those runs, but it sounds exhausting to me. Role-playing as somebody with a severe drug habit is <laughs> Surprisingly, it's not something that appeals to me. Oh fuck! Right, right, we're gaining inflation now because inflation guy is gone. Shit. Ah. Pick your battles here. Do you want to fight corruption or do you want to fight inflation? Hard to fight both. Well, at least we're converting things. We are gaining... Yeah, invest. I have a 33% chance of getting the next... Oh, that's not great. What else does Defender of the Faith give me? Better morale, better morale, lower war exhaustion, more prestige, missionary, and yearly papal influence. Okay, it's fine, it's just not... It's not amazing. Investiture is gonna take fucking forever to get to us, isn't it? God, yeah it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. It's already... It's... Yeah, alright, I guess this is the game as designed, that it takes forever for this to spread. <laughs> it's a very uncomfortable feeling. Well, you've killed a Deathclaw, but you haven't killed the, uh, Matriarch Deathclaw yet. Kill her. Alfonso's malevolent. Alfonso, why? You you were supposed to be a good boy. Not a piece of shit. Alright, well... That's, that's... These fuckers will never be happy with me. Portugal is almost halfway done. Portugal, I should say, is almost halfway done being integrated. Uh... <sighs> Galicia has claims here, so I can still go to war with Badajoz for those, though you're allied with Toledo. You're not! You're not allied with Toledo. I actually could fight Badajoz. I don't want to do that until these rebels pop up and get smacked down. I want to be taking this reasonably slow, comfortable pace, not doing anything too stupid. Yeah, it's 1070. It did take until uh, 1492? Uh, 1490... Was it 1492 actually that the Reconquista was completed? It took a long time. It took four or five more centuries after this for the Reconquista to be complete, and then for conversion, reconversion after that took it, the better part of another century. Just get addicted to all the things. It's the only way to play Fallout. <laughs> Talk to the doctor. Hey, I've got some addictions. I've been punching death claws. Ah, well, there's England Pretender Rebels. Anglican Pretender Rebels, I suppose. Not quite the same. Hmm. Byzantium has just sat here not doing anything for so long. 
Yeah, we're no longer innovative <laughs> by by any standard. It's fine. It's embarrassing, but it's fine. You allied with Toledo. Toledo's flag I really need to learn to recognize, but here's Toledo, who's Abarasan. Does it make sense how these look similar to me? Because I can't read Arabic. All of these look very, very similar. I wonder how the Black Death is modeled. Because this is way before the Black Death makes its way through here. God Sword of the People, National Unrest minus 2%, it's so not bad, or 5 Legitimacy. You know what? Take the Legitimacy. Happily take the legitimacy. Now we're attacking into the mountains, don't love that. Yeah, but this is fine. Ooh, what? Ah! <laughs> well. Excuse me, I need military access? Pardon me, I would like military access. I seem to have fucked things up for my vassal. Imagine that. So they are actually trying to convert? Well, no, right now they're just trying to make an army. Show me the province. Are you converting this? Do I see a little man? Well, maybe, maybe not. Ah, the general died in the battle. Good, good. Not like I needed him for anything. Like fighting a war or anything like that. No. Nah. Feel free to die. A, a new general. And now you go all the way home. Uh, that is an obscene amount of corruption we got hit with for, <laughs> for denying Castillo its independence. This is this is a pretty significant penalty. A penalty I'm happy to bear the brunt of, but because I think it's worth it. I'm quite confident that it's worth it. Damn. When will I feel ready to go to war again? Well, the, the rebels have been dealt with for now, so now would be a very good time. I'm converting things, so I'm a little iffy about our religious unity. It's still above 90%, so I could take a few more things. And really, if I took anything about it, Jules, I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. I wouldn't be taking it for me, I would be taking it for Galicia, here. I have a claim here, which is nice and all. Portugal has a lot of claims, my men's grading them, so that won't matter, but Galicia wants these. So I might go to war just to get their claims, so I can keep using them to take land, convert it, and core it, before I integrate them or inherit them eventually. I need to be careful about making them too powerful, but I, I think that's fine. Alamazin still has unrest? Really? Separatism, religious unity. Okay, that's a problem. That's fair. So, if I were to declare war on you, I could call in Barcelona. I could not call in Aragon. It's a shame. How many favors do I have with you? Nine? Yeah, I'll just wait until I can call you in. I shouldn't need to, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'd rather have an overwhelming amount of force than an underwhelming amount of force. You won't want to marry me for a long time. That's okay. How close are we to getting another one of these? Very close. Well, by very close, I mean more than half. Honestly, I think Assimilate Conquest is going to be what I want to 
reduce the uh, years of separatism because we're going to be contending with that for a long time yet. Fortunately, Andalusian we can just make an accepted culture and it'll affect this entire area. Andalusian is not broken into subcultures, so that's easy. I have heard of Mu and Taxes, or M I E U, M E I O U and Taxes. I've played it. Its performance is a lot worse than this. It's ambitious. Uh, I've played with it a little bit, but it seems a little overly complicated. It doesn't explain itself as well as I would like something like that to. I'm I'm willing to potentially look into playing a campaign sometime, but it's it's sort of a big ask. There's a lot of nuance to it, and the UI is... The UI in Mew and Taxes is bad. It's all locked behind events, and it's... You really just have to, like, read the wiki to know what you're doing. And I don't mind doing that. That's how I learned to play a lot of games, but... It feels a little too obstructive. Okay, January 1073. That's when we'll be able to declare war. Prophecy, we have 28%. I'll be able to increase this soon. Thank you. Dismantle it, Jory. Yeah, unlikely. One subject. Ooh, you are big, and you are involved in a war against who now? No, a war against who now. Ah, okay. You hate Toledo, Toledo hates you. I would really hate for this to be an opening for Toledo to move in. Because in the long run, Toledo is going to be our biggest... Our biggest problem. <laughs> we do it now? We can do it now. Okay. So, this is for... Felicia? For Yara? Yeah, let's do that. big is your army? Yeah, you know, not tiny. But you're also already at war. So I feel like we'll be okay. Yes, give me, give me that money. Sweet, sweet money. Cool, war goal achieved. Easy peasy. Oh, you know, I don't need that entire army on here. That's eating some unnecessary attrition. I can't leave. Okay, I can leave to there. Ah, uh, well, maybe, maybe I'm not feeling comfortable leaving that two stack alone. Yeah, yeah, it's a little rough around attrition, but let's just have our 12 stacks stay together. Yeah, for that exact reason, yeah, sneaky 10 stacks coming through the fog of war. Nope, get out of here. You're still in your other war, cool, so I've alleviated pressure on whoever the fuck it was you were fighting. I'd say hopefully they'll come in and make a difference. I know very well that they probably won't. Men Men's Kurt lost. As the dust covers, the full extent of the catastrophe becomes apparent. The cowardly mercenary Franks had abandoned the battlefield, and the ancient Varangian guard was wiped out entirely. The greatest nobles of the Byzantine Empire were either killed or captured, with the Turks demanding a ransom that would shake the imperial coffers to the core. Though this defeat doesn't spell the wholesale collapse of our empire, the way for Turkish further Turkish expansion into Anatolia now lies wide open. Right, right. <laughs> That's concerning. Treason against Leon. God damn it. Oh, no, no, no. This is not a special event. Yeah, nobility, lose loyalty, gain professionalism, or lose local manpower in Asturias. Yeah, let's do the top one. This is not a time to piss off the nobility. I need them. 
I have need of their manpower reserves. Okay, I would... You all just be supportive. Stick to me, please. I don't want you to go out and die. Sincerely, I really don't want you to go out and die. Because that'll make this war a hell of a lot harder for everyone involved. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Castello Branco. Viejo. Vici. Arfonda, let's take that. It's here. Ah, oh, beautiful. More tactics. That will actually be immediately used. Oh, you know, this is a problem. Boom, done. Go take care of that. It's a long way to go, but go take care of that. Reinforce them. Reinforce them. You're going to try to reinforce them, but you're going to be... Oh, just in time. Never mind. I'm going to say too late, but... Never too late. I may be too late getting here, though. I'm not. Never mind. I'm just being needlessly pessimistic, apparently. That's fine. <clears throat> Oh, okay, that matters very little to me. Can I stop? I cannot stop. I mean, if you're gonna cause some ordeal up there, I'm gonna get in on this. Oh, we won! Oh, hot damn! <laughs> I was expecting us to lose there. Portugal will be integrated very soon, for better or for worse. Now, I'm... I'm hoping that the performance gets better over time as all these tiny little states start getting eaten up. I'm well aware that it may not get any better. I'm going to hope. Now, DeRosa, you have a very long, very, very long conversion. It's because we do not have, of course, religious unity here. Should help out quite a bit. Golden era, golden era, golden era, golden era. Ah, it seems some people are enjoying some sort of gilded era. Good for them. You know what, actually, stick to the south so I can intercept armies coming up at us. Hopefully Leon will grab Fiera for itself again. Or, uh, not Leon, Galicia will. If they don't, that's fine. Invasiveness is decreasing again. I'm very close to being able to pick this up. Not quite, though. I'm sorry to the Pope will give you 10 influence. You know, honestly, the crisis starts at 80%. Why not just push that up a little bit? So I can. Hello down on that, give us a 30% chance. I want Curia Controller. I really want to be able to declare Holy Wars down here, because those would help us out significantly. Alright, there's Portugal. Integrated. I'm just going to delete this army. Mission fulfilled. Expanded Lyon. Lyon gets one more tax, one more production, one more manpower. Get some cute little bonuses. Nothing amazing. Conquer new states. What do you want? I've grown by at least five states. I'll think about it. Does that count? That counts too? 
No, okay, apparently not. Damn. So the Corji don't think they have enough provinces. That's typical. 1.2, I think, is the lowest I'm going to bind anywhere. So let's just hand you that, and that, and one more at 1.2. Alright, one more at 1.2. Alright, skirting that line, but not quite crossing it. 1.2 for you, 1.2 for you. 1.2, 1.2. That'll do. Now, Diplo Power isn't being weached nearly as bad as it was. So, I'm going to want these. I can't force you to release anything. I could humiliate you, because you are my rival, and I suppose I could take provinces from you, though I'm not really wanting to do that because I'm wanting to level up our admin. Hmm. <laughs> All of you have high enthusiasm? Okay, that's fair. Go deal with that problem. I think what I need to do is go occupy the war goal itself. That'll help start ticking war score a little bit more favorably. Ooh, hello. I outnumber you, and I'm betting man, so I am willing to fuck with you. Yeah, we'll get there in time. Plenty of time. Sale of titles, uh, nobility or burgers? Whose loyalty do I want the most right now? Why all right? Nobility is what I want, because you give me manpower, and oh boy, is that necessary right now. Liquor, production efficiency up one. Oh, I didn't read the current military attack when I- oh well. Liquor is being produced by distilling already fermented beverages to increase their alcoholic potency. While it has its naysayers, liquor production is a lucrative industry. There are rumors of a faraway land, land, far land called Nicuria 2? What? Is that a joke like Victoria 2? Or an entire economy can be built on it? I think that's a Vicky 2 joke. It's so weirdly phrased, I'm not sure if it's a Vicky 2 joke, but I think it is. Alright, you're up here now? God damn it. Well, you're not taking any forts, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. Get intercepted, son! Look at you. Maneuver 2, Siege of 1. very little on me. Alright, we did successfully intercept this. Cool, let's go retake some of these. I very much like my conversion process to continue. That. This is unprotected. Ah, yeah, let's let's make steps towards taking their capital. That would severely encourage them to cut this shit out and end the war. Now let's go take their capital. Alright, this belongs to Galicia, I want this to belong to Galicia, and this to belong to Galicia, because I know that you have claims there, right? Yeah, awesome. Alright, so what I want from you is pretty simple, just these three to start with. Honestly, just these three. Can I get that right now? I sort of want to push for more, more reparations or humiliation, but no, no. You know what? I'll settle for that. There will be time for more war later, but they're occupying weird swaths of my territory and I kind of just want to be done with it. Just 
they're over here and over here and it's, it's difficult to manage. I could have pushed for more, but I don't want to. Competent cousin, gain legitimacy. Ooh, 10 legitimacy. Oh yeah, good cousin. What's our force limit looking like? It's gone up by one. Alright, well that's... Gonna increase both of these by one for the sake of symmetry. It's looking like some of my DLC for music isn't impro installed properly. Oh, is this the Christmas one? Skip. Right, better. What are these provinces like that I've just picked up? Well, definitely reduce that separatism, hell yeah. Portuguese, Portuguese, Portuguese. We do not have Portuguese as an accepted culture. And I cannot promote it to be an accepted culture as I already have two, and two is my maximum. Ah, well, I can get rid of Asturian. That would cost 11, and then adopting this would cost another 100 or so. No, I should just hold off. Oh, I should hold off. In the long run, I think Andalusian will be our most accepted culture. By far. Please, God, give me, give me institutions. I have a need. I have a mighty need. Italy mostly has it. Much of Germany has it. France, England, Ireland is just bereft of it. It's going to take a very long time for this institution to spread to the Emerald Isle. Rip Ireland. I could try to force it to spawn by just heavily developing this province, but ah, uh, nah. Jesus, 25% tech penalty. Ooh. Luckily, the next institution doesn't spawn for another 75 years, so hopefully that'll be enough time to get on hold of this. Get a hold of this and not die horribly. It's been about another hour. How oh, have I dropped any frames at all? Dropped 0. 0.4 frames. Huh. Uh, I'm going to keep streaming. But if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, you, you know the deal by now, right? Uh, this is it for today. More will be up tomorrow. In the meantime, make sure to comment, share, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Till then, I'm going to say toodaloo. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.